you could do this massage with me all you need is a beauty oil with you or even ghee will do i'm using ghee for this fantastic beauty massage this massage not only debuffs your face making it smaller and slimmer but also gives you a very defined jawline you can see the results almost immediately at the end of the massage which is between 15 to 16 minutes long hello and welcome back if you're new here i'm rubina i've had a career spanning 22 years between healthcare it and skin and hair and i post videos once a week on all these three topics So do stay tuned. I use Key. It's my absolute favorite because it's got great lubrication and great qualities. I have done an extended video. I'm going to be linking it here and in the description below. I advise you to wear a old T-shirt in case you have drips, so there is no staining. I smear the entire oil on my hands nicely and first massage it all over my face. kind of relaxing the face and getting started it also helps warm up the skin as well as warm up my hands which is very very important as we begin the massage we're going to be first relaxing the neck muscles which really support our head and are generally not paid much attention to so we start by relaxing the face I'm going very gently with no pressure at all. These are the pr pressure pumps that we should be aware of. There's one there and this one at our collarbone. So if you depress your collarbone, you can feel a little bit of depression near the bones and this is where we're going to be using two fingers to press down in. The lymph circulation is extremely important in debuffing the face. Let's get started. So I begin by relaxing the neck area. Like I said, these muscles are connected right up to our head, and I go deep into the back of my head to work in the relaxation. I've also oiled my hair, so that helps. This stroke we do three times on each side. Now. I make a V with two fingers and go at my jawline. We are trying to relax the muscle and move the lymph to the pressure points near the ears. I do this 3 times. Next we pinch the jawline. this helps relax the muscles even more and as you know with relaxed muscles the lymph moves more smoothly the blood circulation also kind of warms up i then form a pincer with my fingers and go in with a little more pressure around the jawline the lower finger goes underneath the jaw bone so you need to put it there and then massage upwards we now go to the orbital area around the lips i'm using a fair amount of pressure here first with just the first digit of my index finger and then i take two fingers and put gentle pressure around the lip area with these muscles energized it also helps minimize minimize the laugh lines and relax the face even more we next go to the nasolabial fold massaging right up I'm first relaxing the face and down that area and then use the middle finger to give it a little deeper pressure. So I'm moving the lymph around that area right down to the lymph pressure node that I showed earlier. Massaging this area with gentle pressure 
also helps move the lymph which kind of pools around these areas and makes the cheeks sag over a period of time. So we are not only moving the lymph, we are moving underneath the cheekbone to not only activate the muscle but also move the lymph. Using the knuckle of our hands helps move a lot of lymph right down from our jawbone right up over the cheeks to the pressure pump area. We are not using too much of pressure. The lymph circulation just happens under the surface. So it's not so much about pressure as it is about manipulating it upwards. We do this three times. Now we form a V with our fingers and we are moving the muscle right up to the back of our head. These muscles are connected. And we want to activate this entire muscle to pull our jawline up. We are now moving the lymph. We are now massaging the neck muscles to relax. Once they relax, the blood flows in smoother, better and so does the lymph. We are not using too much pressure, just gentle manipulation. I do this three times. Then we move the muscles at the back of our head and right behind the ear area. It is so incredibly important to keep relaxing our neck area because that is always under a lot of stress. First of all, it balances our head, which is a very heavy part of our body. And secondly, it is upright the whole day. So relaxing the muscles of, around this area also helps our facial muscles relax. And whenever the muscles relax, there's good blood circulation and there's good lymph circulation as well. Rotating the shoulder also helps in relaxing these muscles. We now go around the eye area with very gentle spotted pressure around the orbital bone. This is the bone around the eye. We do this three times. Next, we apply a little bit of pressure on the eyeball, just very gentle pressure. It really helps relax the eyes, which are again under a lot of strain throughout the day. You can increase the pressure a little bit by using two fingers and pressing gently down on the eyeball. When you open your eyes, you might feel a little fuzzy, but it will soon pass. Then we pinch the eyebrows. It again helps relax the eye area. And as the eye area relaxes, the lymph starts draining into the pressure pump zones. We help it along with gently massaging it towards the pressure point.
massaging the forehead with two fingers to begin with we cover the entire forehead area stopping near the hairline I do this three times. Then we take our fingers and massage the hairline area. This really helps relax the muscles around this area as well and move the lymph around. and as the lymph starts getting drained because of the entire relaxation you can almost feel your face debuffing now we go to the center of our forehead where we tend to frown getting the frown lines We use a little bit of intense pressure with the knuckle of our index finger and go a little circular there covering the entire brow area. I do this 3 times. This really helps relax the muscles especially if you're very prone to frowning and prevents the frown lines from forming. and once the muscles have relaxed we drain out the lymph to those the pressure points hold the pressure point for about 3 seconds next we massage up the nose nose is one feature on a face that continues growing as we age So massaging it gently and often helps make sure that the nose doesn't grow too big or gets misshapen with time. Along with massaging the nose, we also help drain out the sinuses a little bit. Little pressure at the corner of the eye not only helps drain the lymph but also helps the tear duct relax this is especially helpful if you are prone to watering eyes now that the neck is well relaxed we kind of massage it down and move the lymph to our lymph pump points near the collarbone so we covering the entire area and moving the lymph down towards the lymph pressure points These are also called lymph pressure pump area. You can almost see the difference in your face. It's advisable to do this once a day, especially in the morning before you start the day. It just takes about 10 minutes. Another thing that really helps in minimizing the double chin is to make sure that your tongue is always relaxing at the roof of your mouth. as you can see here if the tongue is very relaxed the double chin kind of pops out the other thing it really helps is moving your tongue between your teeth and the lip now tongue is a very big muscle doing this at least 3 times clockwise and anti clockwise The tongue is a very big muscle and it's connected deeply in the neck area. So exercising the tongue also helps minimize the double chin. And if you're prone to getting a heavy jawline, it really helps smooth down the face. We then cup our face with a warmed up hands and help relax the face completely.
post this last 15 minutes you can almost see the difference in your face it's dramatically debuffed the jawline becomes more visible and defined as you can see here this was my face before we started and this is how it is debuffed the difference is very dramatic if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please do subscribe till i see you next time take care